Good morning to you. It is Sunday, October 24th, the start of a new vlog week. We're just finishing up our keys assignment. We actually did it really smart this week. We played the assignments throughout the week, I think at least three times, and we're just finishing up. So I think we got them all to around like a 70%, and I just pretty much cleared, I think, five out of the six assignments to a hundred percent. So practice does make perfect. It's the start of a new vlog week. I'm always super freaking pumped on Sundays. We had a really, really good sound design session yesterday. We are heading into unit four of level five. The songwriting assignments are getting more and more complicated. I imagine this week's gonna be even crazier, but we will see. We shall see. I never look ahead. I'm always looking at the assignments when I do Sunday Fun Day with you. So that's just our special little thing that we do together. But anyways, you know we got that coming up, but I think today, we are going to work on some music. We're going to finish, I'm hoping, at least two tracks. Final mix down on two of my old school remixes. I know, I'm still doing those. I'm behind everyone. Some opportunities fell through and that kind of just depleted my momentum. But you know what? I can't let that stop me from finishing these tracks. It's the start of my week. By the time you see this, it'll be around Wednesday if you're following in line. Let's smash some goals and let's get to work. Good afternoon. And welcome back to Sunday Fun Day. Sunday Fun Day is my vlog segment where we go over our work for the week. We start our week around here on Sunday so we can get ahead of the curb, know exactly what work we have to do this week. Let's get right into it. Here we go, unit four of level five. F minor and A flat major, write your story, melody structures. Starting off with keyboard techniques, F minor and A flat major. In this lesson, you will explore minor and major scale patterns, the F minor scale, the A flat major scale, the minor and major chord qualities, the chords of F minor and A flat major, singing the F minor and A flat major scale. Moving forward, we have music business classes. What's your story? In this lesson, you are going to start learning about branding and marketing and how to tell your own story as an artist. We'll look at these points. What your story is and why it needs to be well-defined. What parts of your story you want to make public versus keep private. What is special about your story that makes you unique and interesting. Pushing on, we have more songwriting classes. Melody structures. In this lesson, we'll take an in-depth look at melody writing. Some components that make up a good melody. Construction of a melody writing a top line to suit an instrumental. All right, here we go. I'm actually looking at all the classes that make up what I just read for songwriting. And there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like around nine different instructional videos with a whole bunch of different parts. And this is lyrical melody writing. So that's really exciting to me. And I know that this is leading towards actually me singing on my own tracks. Never thought in a million years that I'd be learning something like this, but I really, really like that they teach this. The other thing I'm super excited about is now we're moving from a lot of just the knowledge-based music business stuff, we're actually moving into branding. Not only branding, but right away we're jumping into what story do we want ourselves as an artist to portray? What do we want to put out there in the world? So yeah, this is a jam-packed week. Super excited to get started. All right, that is it for Sunday Fun Day today. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, October 25th. We're in the studio. Ableton is fired up. First thing, we're ready to get to work. We need to work on some music. We got a bunch of tracks that just need to be finished off. Take a look at this though. New Icon Sweater Merch. It even has a cool little icon symbol. Yeah, we were pretty busy on the weekend, had some other stuff going on outside of the studio for once, which was great. We're working on music this morning, and then this afternoon, we will dive straight into the classes. I'm feeling not too shabby today. Hope the start of your week is going well. And you know what? I'm just gonna get to it, all right? We'll talk to you soon. Welcome back to Mental Health Monday, and we are keeping on the motivational topics that we've been talking about. This week is all about 
setting deadlines. Now you might think mental health, what does this have to do with your mental health? I think that employing tools like setting deadlines and being organized actually greatly contributes to the busyness of your mind. I don't know about you, but if I have so much pressure in my head trying to remember every tiny little thing that I need to do, I start to get real irritable, restless, and discontent, and I get snappy, and it's just not a good scene for anyone. So this quarter with my mentor, I actually started using this app called ClickUp. Never heard of it. It's a free app. It's pretty awesome. I'm not trying to pitch anything here. I don't have any kind of affiliate with them. But basically, it's an entire project organization business tool. And so my whole secret project thing that I got going on, I've got pretty much everything we need to get started on the next step. And now it's just a matter of getting the team in there, getting everybody signed up and chipping away. That being said, there's a lot more that goes along with deadlines as a music producer. This is a self-paced thing. Like whatever you put into it, I mean, half the time you're not even getting back until months down the road. Half the time it's only in retrospect that you see the work that you were doing pay off. So that's the thing, we have to be disciplined and we need those deadlines. I'll admit that those classic remixes I was doing, I had this whole special thing lined up, everything fell through, I had a big deadline, we were gonna film the second weekend of October, and I was gonna make this super special promo video for it, and I just didn't. As soon as it fell through, I let that deadline slip by, and now I'm feeling a little bit down because of it. These are tracks that are 80 to 90% finished, and I just didn't do the final mix stuff that I needed to do. Now, I don't think the right word is excuse here, but for lack of a better term, yeah, I let the excuse of that whole thing falling through to not finish those tracks. It's easy when things are exciting and you got a lot going on, but it's a lot more difficult to stick to those deadlines when things are falling through or you don't actually have anything planned. It's just a matter of like, wow, okay, now I have these tracks, what do I do with them? But the thing is doing that work, gaining that experience always opens the next door. And I can't see what door it's gonna open unless I actually complete what I need to complete. So this is where setting deadlines comes into play. It's super important. I suggest having a calendar, using an app like ClickUp, writing things down, putting reminders in your phone. Do everything you can to try to stick to those deadlines. Like we're talking, we need like an 80% deadline finishing rate. That's the goal. And if things fall through, just carry on. Carry on with the deadline you were gonna do. Continue to seek those opportunities. Something probably better is about to come along. That's a little fast and furious, motivational mental health Monday. Let's kill it this week. Let's finish our music. That is it for Mental Health Monday today. Good morning, everyone out there. It is Tuesday, October 26th. We're in the studio, Ableton Open. First thing, we just got in from yoga. We're feeling freaking awesome. Yoga was a little more difficult than it usually is today, but honestly, I'm feeling good from it. But yeah, we are finishing up our classics to remix. We've got about eight tracks we need to fully mix down. We're excited to get into this track. This is my Put Your Hands Up for Detroit reboot. I'm loving the way that it sounds, but it's time to clean everything up and do our final mix process. What else do we got going on? Yesterday, we finished all the songwriting classes. Lots of amazing stuff in there about writing lyrical messages melodies. What I'm really interested to find out is if they're going to tie in writing a melody to your lyrical melody. I actually went over Katy Perry's Firework and they had the entire vocal melody transcribed into piano. It was really really interesting to see that whole process broken down and just what it takes to create a lyrical melody. I'm calling it a lyrical melody, they're just calling it a straight up melody, but I think it helps differentiate the two because you got instrumental melodies, you got accompaniments, you got, you know, some kind of melody that accompanies the vocal melody, you know, Katy Perry firework. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's what gets stuck in your head. It's usually the melody that you end up kind of whistling after, something like that. So it's really interesting. They're breaking all that down and trying to help us see 
what makes memorable vocal melodies. So yeah, diving into Ableton first thing, knocking out these mix downs, and then working on the classwork. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, October 27th. We're in the studio. We got Ableton open again. I've been really enjoying this week, just getting right into Ableton. And we are mixing down all those classics to remix that I did last quarter. This is like Sandstorm, Satisfaction, Put Your Hands Up for Detroit. And you know what? Despite that whole thing falling through, I am going to do something special for these tracks. I feel like I've turned a corner doing these tracks, really leveled up my game because the simplicity of these tracks and the reason why they became such hits is really evident when you're recreating them in your own style. I think putting them in my style and kind of developing them into like a modern day version, I'm really, really loving how they sound. So this is the fourth one. Fourth one, we're doing the final mix down. So we're halfway done. And then I'm also gonna master these tracks myself because I need the practice. And I'm actually feeling really accomplished getting back to these tracks. It goes back to that deadline thing we talked about on Monday and actually finishing your music. So it's Wednesday, as you know, big vlog segment coming up. But first, we're gonna get to work on this track. And I'm excited to talk about the work we've been doing this week. Welcome back to the Wednesday midweek check-in. How are we feeling this week? Honestly, I'm feeling really, really good. I feel like I'm finally back on track and I'm kind of getting ahead of my schedule rather than kind of like letting my schedule run me. Right now I'm finishing a whole bunch of classic electronic music tracks that I was remixing last quarter. We're finishing them off, final mix down, and then a master. Mentally though, getting this stuff done has me feeling pretty good. So let's break down the work for the week. Music business. Let's start with that one. This is all about defining your story as an artist. So not necessarily your biography, but it's more so what do you want people to know about you? And so it's kind of interesting the way that they were explaining things is that, you know, like Jay-Z has a rags to riches story. Katy Perry used to be like a Christian gospel singer gone pop star. And so they were able to kind of use their real life story and their come up to market these artists. So it's really interesting to think about your story in this way. Basically, they're talking about, you know, fans want to connect with the person behind the artist. They want to know what your story is. For the most part, the keyboard techniques classes was just a music theory review. Super straightforward. And guess what? I actually started my keys playing assignment already. I think I'm sitting around like a 65% so far. So we're well on our way and we've already practiced. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And last but not least, my new favorite course, songwriting. Songwriting this week was all about the melody. I think I mentioned it, but they actually took a Katy Perry track and transcribed the entire vocal melody. It was really, really interesting to see the lyrics and the melody broken down into just playing a simple piano. They broke it down section by section, verse, chorus, pre-chorus, and it was just kind of illuminating on the whole process. I'm not sure at this point what comes first, writing a vocal melody or writing the lyrics. This was also about understanding what makes something memorable. Most of the time for a pop track, it's not necessarily the lyrics that get stuck in your head, it's the vocal melody that gets stuck in your head. That's what you kind of find yourself humming after. And then eventually, if the song's really good, obviously you're gonna memorize what the lyrics are as well. It's almost like though the lyrical melody is more important than the lyrics themselves. So what do we got for homework this week? Well, we have a keys playing assignment as per usual. For music business, we are to write our story. And then for songwriting, as you may have guessed, we need to write a melody. A melody that's not only easy to hum or whistle, but one that also has a good rhythm to it as well. The two need to complement each other. So yeah, that's how my week's going. And that's an in-depth look at the coursework. That is it for the Wednesday midweek check-in today.